Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now the beginning of October of 2022 and with Andor episodes one through four already out on Disney Plus with fans awaiting the fifth episode already. We're also looking heavily forward to shows out there like Tales of the Jedi, The Bad Batch season two, and let's not forget about The Mandalorian three as well as Ahsoka and a whole lot more. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one major aspect of the Star Wars universe that has had a lot of problems before in the past was all connected to Kathleen Kennedy, without a doubt. I mean, we have witnessed it ourselves of what happened with The Last Jedi, what happened with other projects out there. And thankfully, John and Dave are allowing the fans to move past all of that and to focus on the future, right? So that's one thing that I think we have to all give, at the very minimum, some credit toward Bob Chapek for. For allowing Favreau and Filoni to do as they please with this new Star Wars universe and essentially letting them do whatever in the world they want to do. Now that brings us to Kathleen Kennedy because we already know that she's been having a lot of trouble with the Acolyte series for the past number of months. You guys may or, not, may, not, may or may not be aware about this, but the Acolyte series is pretty much a 50 and 50 scenario right now where five episodes are in the hands of Favreau and Lucas telling Leslie Headland what to do with the script and four other episodes are being controlled by Kathleen Kennedy. It's practically a half and half scenario here. But moving forward to where we are now and what's happening behind the scenes with Kennedy, specifically having a lot of problems with the Star Wars fandom and the overall community. Now with many new Star Wars TV shows in the works by John and Dave, Disney executives are beginning to form a very detailed plan for the Star Wars fans in order to provide a brand new take on the franchise. However, it's noted that behind the scenes, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy has been furious with the fans lately for one big reason, and a lot of it has to do with the fact how over the years, fans have been raising their opinions to Disney about the direction of the Star Wars universe, especially with the Kenobi series. Now, since the backlash of the Kenobi show, Kathleen Kennedy has not only lost more creative power at Lucasfilm by Disney executives, but also losing more control and power over the budgeting of many Star Wars projects in the works. 65% of which right now, Jon Favreau has control over when it comes to controlling the budgeting. This is something that Kathleen Kennedy is furious with the fans about, since she recently also blamed the fans, again, in one of the most recent interviews that she gave to the overall Star Wars community. When she goes on to say, when I look at the franchise as big as this, sometimes I wonder if the fans are even really fans, when oftentimes we see the community disrespect the creators on the hard work that they did or are doing. I think it's best for those types of people to keep opinions to themselves, since it's not only creating a major problem and creative consequences on the creator, but also the production of future projects and which direction we want to go in. So let me just stop right here for one second. So Kennedy is basically saying that fans need to keep their opinions to themselves. They're not allowed to really speak up about their feelings about specific Star Wars projects and where things are going. This is the biggest problem that I think I have with Kathleen Kennedy, and I've talked about this many times before in the past, that when we look at somebody like Kathleen Kennedy, she always puts pressure on the fandom. She always blames the fans. She always plays the victim card when it comes to when projects fail or they don't do as good. We see this also with a lot of actors in Hollywood attached to all these different shows and movies that are just geared toward sending a message and not really telling a story. In this case, Kathleen Kennedy kept on trying to essentially pretty much avoid herself away from George Lucas's vision and just erase everything that he created since 1977, mind you. I mean, so one of the biggest problems also that a lot of fans have with this is the fact that she's essentially telling the fans to keep opinions to themselves and that it's our fault for raising our opinions that it actually creates creative co consequences on the creators, is what she says. Now, obviously, I don't believe that's true. 
the creator has a mind of their own. They can ignore the fans if they want to. As much, you know, of a difficult thing it may come across as, they can find ways to just shut off social media and not listen to fans if it's really bothering that bad. Now, this scenario, behind the scenes, Kathleen Kennedy is furious and very angry with the fans for this very specific reason. Because we raised our opinions, our feelings about the direction of the Star Wars universe at the time, when Kenobi was coming out, and when it was actually debuting on Disney+. Plus. And since then, she lost a lot more creative power, she lost a lot more budgeting, you know, power over all these new Star Wars shows, and 65% we talked about this is now in the hands of Jon Favreau when it comes to the number of shows that will be controlled by him when it comes to budgeting. So moving on forward, she goes on to say, these problems are always rooted to problematic fans. All right. And it can get quite difficult many times for us here at Lucasfilm. Additionally, separate from what Kathleen Kennedy said, she is also creating a plan to leave Lucasfilm before Disney lets her go to create her own company, Starlight Productions. Now, we talked about this too, that she is creating this plan to detach herself from Lucasfilm before Disney replaces her on their own. I guess she wants to save that from being on any kind of record or in history of the film industry. Now, I don't know about you, but we talked about this too. Her plan to leave Lucasfilm and start a prone production company is becoming a reality. She's planning on getting it started up by 2025. It's gonna feature a lot of shows that are gonna be sci-fi driven, a lot of movies that will be sci-fi driven. She's gonna be hiring some ex-Lucasfilm employees and or existing ones that actually like her ideas of Star Wars at the time that she will be bringing into her own production company. So it doesn't look like that Kathleen Kennedy plans on retiring from the film industry anytime soon. I mean, at the very minimum, 2025. She wants to get this thing started up. She may stick around for a couple of years and maybe then she'll call it quits. But I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans feel about Kathleen Kennedy blaming them for raising their opinions and just speaking out their feelings about the direction of the franchise. And behind the scenes, basically, she feels and she believes that it was all our fault because of the consequences on her part, because of the creative power that she lost by Disney executives, because of the budgeting power that she lost, and somehow that's our fault, you know, when really, in reality, I think that they really should just take more time on these projects, maybe get more experienced writers, and then it's pretty much a done deal that it's gonna be a very good project. Now, that's why I'm very happy about Favreau and Filoni being attached to pretty much all the Star Wars shows. And the only two that are out of their realm is Skeleton Crew and parts of the Acolyte series. So, like I said, guys, you know, it is a very complicated time for Star Wars, but the light is at the end of the tunnel. It is getting closer to us. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>